Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Devon here, and I'm getting ready to show you guys my budget home theater. This is what the front of the room looks like. Right now, I've got an 85-inch Samsung TV. Can't remember the model. Also got a center channel by Klipsch. It's a 34C, I believe, and two 820 towers. I've had a Tonoi 15-inch sub for quite some time, and I liked it, so I kept it. I also have another um, speaker behind the center seat. It's a Klipsch uh, 120 um, subwoofer that's back there. All right, what's going on with my room? Uh, the room is wired for 13 total speakers, but I'm not using all of them right now. Uh, but I wired it because just in case I needed them, they'll be there. And um, my window blackout shade is on order. I don't get it until I think April 6th. So that's still coming. Once I get that, I'll do another review. I'll give you some info about my seats. I did buy these from a rooms to go outlet. Um, I got them at a really, really, really good price. Um, they do recline except for the center ones, that one and the other center ones, uh, that one. All the other ones recline. They all the headrest also reclines as well. Rooms to go outlet, man. Um, I kept going back looking to see if they had more, and um, every time we went back. They didn't have any, so it took us about two months to get all of these because, uh, again, when you go to the outlet, what you see is what they have. And so we decided to keep going back, and we were able to find what we saw, what you're seeing now. So um, really good price um, for for the outlet. They all work fine. Um, no issues. They're really comfortable. So this is what it looks like. I did pick these acoustical panel up from Amazon because uh, you know I had a lot of wall space and I didn't want echo throughout the, the room. So I bought like, I think four packs. They come 12 in a pack and I, I put them on the walls and uh, some of them in the ceiling. I did build this acoustical panel because it's close to the speaker. And I just bought some, this one is uh, one by three and I put some rock wool and hung it on the wall. Um, I did the same thing with this one over here. Um, it's uh, one by two with some rock wool and um, hung it on the wall as well. Uh, here's my AV rack. Um, what do I have? I have a Onkyo TX NR7100 and a Sony DVD player and Apple 4K and a um, Amazon Echo. Uh, that's the only thing that we do have in here. That thing over the top fancy. Um, again, it's, it is a budget home theater, so, um, you know, pricing did count. I do have an 85 inch Samsung. It is recessed. It looks pretty good in here. Um, and I do also have 150 inch screen that drops down in front of it from the ceiling. The projector that I currently have is an Epson 3800. It shows really good. Um, the quality of the video is, is pretty awesome. The one flaw about this particular projector, it is very loud. So if you're just in here, you know, without, you know, loud volume, you can hear it. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting this projector. It is it is kind of loud, but the picture quality is awesome. It's not true 4K, but I'm not worried about that right now. Um, I'm still happy with the 1080p. You know, it looks great. Um, it's supposed to emulate 4K, but with pixel shifting, but uh, I haven't done much 4K streaming or, you know, video here. So um, mostly 1080p stuff. Um, and it looks great for what we use this room for. Did get some posters from Amazon along with the, the frame. I got the frames from Michaels. Uh, they had a two for one sale, so I bought a couple of frames and then I bought the posters from Amazon and stuck them in there. I hang them up on the wall. Uh, they came out pretty good. 
Um, what else we have in here? The carpet. The carpet is is really nice carpet. Um, it's nice and flush. The padding is really nice. Um, feels really good on your feet. And I can pretty much control this whole room from my phone. And I really do like it. There is some voice activation that takes place in here as well that I'm still working on. Um, let's see if I can get some of it to work. Um, computer, turn on sconces. So as you can see, I put some gold V LED light behind the uh, acoustical panel. Did it on this side. So when I say turn on sconces, those turn on. Also the stairs turn on. And then um, here's the other one. This one also has the light. I'll turn the light switch off so that you can get a, a decent view what it looks like. So this is what it looks like with the lights off. You can come in and you can see your stair and you can walk up your stair to get to the second row. And here is the other one. So not bad. I also have the, uh, the TV. Computer, turn on theater TV light. So it backlights the TV. And these are all Govi um, LED light strip. Uh, they were nice and cheap around the holiday season, so I bought a few of them to put around the room. Not bad. I just don't like the dots. So I think I'm gonna um, put them a little bit further behind the uh, acoustical panel so I don't see the dots. That may help. Um, what else we have in here? Um, the seats do have lights, as you can see. Um, it also has a USB connection and it seems to work fine. Uh, let me say, computer, turn off theater TV light. It goes out, turn off sconces. And the sconces go out. So I can turn the lights back on. I do have for the light switch, a dimmer from Casa TP-Link, um, TP-Link Casa light switch dimmers. Those were fairly price reasonable and they work really, really well. I do have them throughout the entire basement. And one day um, I'll do a whole basement tour because we, this theater room is part of the basement uh, finish, finished basement that we're working on. So there goes my sconces, and this is what it looks like with the TV recess light, and there's the other sconces. And I can also say theater, uh, computer, turn on theater TV. And then it turns the TV on. Pretty awesome. Buy these jammers on the mast. And the uh, outboard end by the four guy, and the I can after bring guy, the projector and projector on by voice as well. Computer, turn on theater projector. As you can see, the TV turns off. Uh, the projector turned on. I can hear it. We're approaching Antigua at dawn. And then Please. the screen will fall out of the ceiling. I'll step back so that you guys can get a, a view of it. Us. And then I'll turn the lights off so that you can see it as well. I think headquarters of Antigua so and the, uh, the place where we can check in with customs as well as anchor for the night after nearly two weeks at sea. Then we're looking forward to getting out to cruise around the island. Antigua is blessed with a number of bays and anchorages around its coastline that provide a great cruising ground. Got some AWE, one of my favorite list. channels. When we meet new friends at a pirate birthday but, party. Yeah, this is Beach the theater room, right? I mean, it, for the first time, you know, for a bunch of theater, it's not the bad. Let me close the door the so you guys can see what I'm seeing.
We're having some weather today. So our dish is going out. But as you can see, it's not a bad picture at all. Computer, turn off theater room. Hey, fella. Everything turns off, lights turns off, and the screen is on its way back up. This is an elite screen. And then I bought the trim kit and just mounted the trim kit around it. This trim kit was a pain. Um, I don't recommend it because it's very wobbly and it was really a pain to get up there. Um, but uh, it looks pretty good once it was once it was installed. But yeah, um, uh, this is not a trim kit that I would recommend simply because of the difficulties that I had working with it. So yeah, this is the, the theater room. Uh, also these seats do recline. Um, the headrest does move around a little bit. As you can see, it does have the light in the, uh, the cup holder. I can turn that off. And then it does have the reclining seats, as you can see. Again, rooms to go outlet. Very good buy. Um, it's not bad. And here's the step. This is a foot high. Um, the one thing I did wish that we did was extended the riser maybe about another six inches or so. Because then when the seats are reclining, they're kind of close together. The, the foot rest comes right about to where the head rest is. Um, when both seats front and back are reclined. So yeah, um, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, here's the other sub. It's sitting behind the center chair. So this room is particularly, uh, it's wired for 13 speakers. I'm only using um, a 7.2.2 right now. Um, once I get a nicer receiver and upgrade to a, a better receiver, then I, I may wire the rest of the speakers. But other than that, um, this is the theater room. As you can hear that thunder outside, I can control pretty much everything from my phone. And so um, there's some voice activation that you saw, the double doors. Give you a quick view of the room again. Once I get my uh, blackout shade, I'll do a, a quick update video. But this is the room. Computer, turn on theater TV. Computer, turn on theater TV. We are definitely having some thunderstorms here today, so direct TV is probably out again. But you get the gist of it. I really do like the way it looks with the light in the back of the TV. Let me turn this off so that you can get a good view of it. I mean, that looks pretty good. And that's pretty much my room. Um, again, the castle light switch, it's a dimmer light switch. That is also voice activated. Computer, turn off theater lights.
it turns it off. Computer, turn on theater lights. It does. And computer, turn off theater room. As you can see, everything turns off. All right, let me show you the theater lobby. Of course, I got the Jaws. My favorite movie, scary movie. It was scary for me as a kid growing up. <laughs> I do have a Pac-Man, a Miss Pac-Man game in the lobby area. This is basically built for gaming. I also got this couch from Room Cigar Outlet, by the way. And I got a 65 inch Hisense 4K TV for the gaming area. Bought these uh, pillows from Amazon as well, just for the looks. And got this from Amazon as well. It just has some gaming rules and training. Video game intelligence training is what it says. So yeah, um, still got some work to do down here, but uh, for the most part, you know, like I said, it's a good 90% complete. So yeah, this is it. Once we get it all done, I'll give you guys another tour, a more detailed tour, and uh, hopefully you like it. We're supposed to have a concession stand going right here. Um, once we get to that, and of course another poster, Lord of the Rings. That was another great series. But I think this would be a good spot for a concession stand right here, outside the theater room. If you guys got some concession stands idea, please uh, let me know. I can use some. And then we have the family poster right outside the theater room. One thing I didn't tell you guys was uh, the theater room dimensions. Uh, what were they? They were, I think it was 20 by 14, I believe. So it was a decent sized room and um, the ceilings are nine foot ceilings. So that's one of the reasons why I put all these uh, acoustical panels in the ceiling. I did do a vast majority of the work in here myself, my wife and I. And so it came out not bad at all. I did not install the carpet. Uh, I, had, um, I paid to get, get that done but I did frame out the walls and recess the TV and mounted this, the screen, install all the AV. Um, yeah, not a bad budget home theater. So rooms to go outlet, chairs. And my sub is a Tonoi 12, no, actually, actually it's a Tonoi 15 inch sub that I've had for at least I say five, six years, if not more. And I decided to reuse it. I did buy the Klipsch um, KSW, I believe 12, 120 in the back. So there's two subs in here. It sounds really good too. Once I get my uh, my window shade, I'll, I'll do another video. But that's it, YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Um, I know I'm a little bit rusty at doing videos and all that, but just thought I'd do a quick video to uh, show you guys what my wife and I were able to accomplish. It did take two years for us to get to this point. So, hey, you know, we're here and we're enjoying it. Um, until the next video, the updated video, and then I'll do a demo at that point too so that you guys can hear some of it. It sounds really good. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.